This is Linda Lee with Ask Me PC Web Design and today we are discussing categories and tags. Alright, so we've logged into the dashboard area of our WordPress website and I've gone ahead and clicked post and we get this nice overview. And you can do this and check on how you're doing anytime and also this is where you go to edit anything you've priorly worked on. So here you can see we've got the title, the author, and the categories, but I'm going to start off with tags. Tags are simply keywords. If you've noticed, if you review a book in Amazon, they'll ask you to add tags. In many places on the web now, instead of using the word keywords, it's being called tags. They are the same thing and they they perform the same function. Now tags are critical because this is how the search engines find content. They search your keywords or your tags. So you really want to make sure this is thoughtfully done and that you fill it in. Now, you can say things like skin, comma, or you could say skin care, comma. You could say, you know, um, tips, brushes. You do not want to use whole phrases. That's not how it's set up. So you can use up to, you can do whole phrases, but it's not as effective because it will say, how to, da, 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 you know, to becomes a keyword. You don't really want that. So you want to do just like right here. This is perfect. Angled brush and now brushes, makeup, concealer, eyeshadow, hide blemishes. That's perfect. That That is exactly how you want to do it. It matches the topic. She's also got the category correct. Makeup, tips, and tricks. You can have multiple categories. Now let's go in and take a look at when you need to do this. Now you can always come in here and edit it if you miss something. So that's one of the good things. So in your post, over here are your categories. Now if you need to add a new category right here, you simply click that and you write it right here and then you would just add new category. Um, you, can you can select multiple categories and that's how your hierarchy is kind of arranged on the viewing for your readers. So if your post fits into several categories, they might click that topic and then they'll see your post. So you want to make sure that you probably don't just put it in one category because you probably it probably fits in more than one. Like in this case right here, common skin care problems, I would add tips and tricks because that's really what she's giving us here are some excellent tips and tricks on what to do with our skin. All right, so right here is where we add the tags. So we would say skin care, you know, hide blemishes. I can just look over here, pimples, that's a good keyword. Um, you know, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, facial cleanser, you know, things like this, right? Okay, so there's just a few. You simply click Add. You can see they're in there. And then also one of the great things they have here to save time is choose from the most used tags. So next time she comes to add the tags, she can actually go through here and just click things she's already added and add the new ones. So that is basically categories and tags. Now let's go over to Pages because on Pages, I, I'm not... Right, so we're in a page now. Now a page does not have a category because it doesn't show the same. Pages are usually on your menu bar. So, but you still need to add the tags. So as you can see here, we're on a page and we're going to do, um, and if you're with me, I have installed for you the SEO plugin right here. Critical, critical. You need to put your title, short description, and here's your keywords or tags, as you now know they are. Make sure that you do this for your pages as well. You, know, you need that extra boost. Pages are set up differently, so over here on the le right, you're going to see we don't have the same layout. We don't have the tags over here or the category. So make sure you fill in down here at the bottom your SEO plugin. All right. Good luck. Thanks.